To enter a reactor building at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, one must wear protective clothing and a full face mask. Fukushima Central TV's camera crew headed to Unit 3. In March 2011, a hydrogen explosion occurred at this reactor. The area had all kinds of rubble contaminated with radioactive substances. The reactor building's uppermost floor is located about 40 meters above the ground. A cylindrical cover that is about 18 meters tall sits above that floor. The rubble that scattered here just after the explosion was removed in about two years. Decontamination of the area has also progressed. Removing the nuclear fuel debris at the bottom of the reactor is the biggest challenge in decommissioning the plant. Workers have confirmed materials in Unit 3 that are believed to be nuclear debris. To facilitate the removal process, officials are studying Unit 5. Officials are considering ways to remove the fuel debris from Unit 3 using Unit 5 as a reference. What holds the key is a path that connects the internal area that holds the debris to the outside of the reactor's containment vessel. This is where the survey robots will be entered. But in Unit 3 only, water has accumulated to a level above the path. The process will also require the development of equipment just for Unit 3. The experimental removal of debris from Unit 2 is expected to start by the end of this year. But officials have no idea when the removal work for Unit 3 might even begin.